Hello everyone, this will be a sneak peek for my upcoming video on Rump Hunt. I'm going to be showing the personality section, even though it's not the first section in the upcoming video. The first section is actually about the history, but since this section is really long, I'm doing the personality section here. Also, I'll be using the images from the webcomic slash anime a lot, since I haven't completed all my art assets for this section. So, yeah, let's begin. Obviously, it's not just the history that matters, but also personalities and how both characters mesh together. So let's start with Hungary. While she's shown to be a reliable older sister type, she is also said to be the manliest character in the series. The latter point makes sense considering after Hungary conquered the Carpathian Basin, they went on to terrorize other European nations, even reaching into France. Plus, with the past involving lots of fighting, it's no wonder why she has a strong exterior. It's also noted that she's scary when she's angered, which would tie into the previous point. During the time the Hungarians were terrorizing other European nations, people were terrified of them. In fact, one such prayer uttered by German, Italian, French, and even Spanish monasteries translated from Latin means, Save us, O Lord, from the arrows of the Hungarians. There's also her more feminine side to take note of. We have seen her wearing dresses multiple times in the comic and in the anime. Something that I feel like is forgotten is that Hungary has a side to her that likes scary stuff. This might be forgotten a lot because it's mostly shown in the webcomic. Like, for example, it's noted that she likes singing scary songs, dressed up as part of a Christmas tradition to spook others, but ended up hugging Italy, scaring the poor guy. And I believe the infamous Hungarian suicide song was referenced in one of the comics. On the last point, for those that don't know, there's a song that was composed that is called Gloomy Sunday, or in Hungarian it's, it's called Sumoru Vashena and has an urban legend surrounding it claiming people have committed suicide while listening to the song. While the song's composer did end up taking his life, there's no substantiated evidence this urban legend is true. There's also the fact that her human name might be inspired by the infamous Hungarian countess Ursabet Bathory, and she even dressed similar to her in the Hedwig 2013 strips. And then of course we can't forget the time she crept out from under Prussia's bed and began hissing at him to get back Silesia to Austria like a sleep paralysis demon. Adding on to this, Hungary is said to have some terrible luck, which, after going through the history section, that much is evident. Now for Romania, my ride or die favorite character. He's definitely more of a playful, trickster type character, but a hard worker and always optimistic despite the circumstances. And of course, he has his romantic side, which hasn't been explored in the comics yet, but leaves much to the imagination. Now, personally, while he has this romantic side, I don't think he's as overt as France is. Although I definitely think he learned a thing or two from France, since in real life, there were many Romanians who were Francophiles basically adored France during the late 1800s, early 1900s. The capital of Romania, Bucharest, is nicknamed Little Paris, and during that time it was seen as an attractive thing to be able to know and speak French. Hell, if you look up Francophilia on Wikipedia, the first country to show up among countries that had slash have it is Romania. However, this attachment isn't exactly reciprocated. Now, this romantic side could also be a reference to a former literary expression called Chintec de Lume, or translated as Love Song. The central themes of these poems were about the joys and sorrows of love and the consolation of wine. It was a way to display a joy of living and the desire to want good things in life, contrasting with solemn pieces during the Enlightenment. And of course, as we all know, Romania definitely has a thing for scarier stuff. He's hinted at having strange tastes, carrying Bulgaria after he talked about his past boss, Vlad Tepes, and then there was the way he brought up a blood drive to the Italy brothers. Speaking of, we know he is infatuated with Roman culture since he really wants to prove that he is a descendant of Rome. Personally, this speaks to me as a character that hates being seen as useless, since in the Italia Horror Show, he decries being seen as a quote-unquote useless member of the EU along with Bulgaria, and who really wants to prove himself as worth something. I can't forget that he's been through a lot, like I brought up in the history section. I'll bring up more of his happy-go-lucky vibe contrasting with his rough past later, so just put a pin in that for now. Overall, personality-wise, I think the two together make for an interesting combination. They have things in common that people don't often think of, like their fascination for the darker things in life, while also having differences. I think a lot of these aspects are overlooked, which kind of makes this pairing a hidden gem in no way. It's not perfect in any way. I don't think any pairing is truly perfect but a gem regardless. 